Oh my god. <laughs> it's even bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Oh my gosh. Hey you guys, how's it going? Paleo Kieran here. I have come home from work early just to be able to do this for you guys today and let's not lie, I wanted to come home early for me too because this is going to be so cool. Now I do apologise, I hope you can hear me properly with the fan on in the back, but there is no way in hell I can get this filmed without some sort of fan on. It is sweltering in this conservatory, um, so please, I hope you can hear me okay. It shouldn't be too bad in theory. So, welcome to my first half educational, half unboxing video. I have never done anything like this before, so please do bear with me. But holy smokes, look at the size of this thing. It's not even all in shot. Oh man. My girlfriend is going to kill me. But without further ado, you want to see what's in this, I want to see what's in this. I know, but you don't. So let's open it and have a look. It's going to be so great. Where do I, I do even start? Um, yeah, I guess. We'll... it's pretty obvious what this is in case it isn't obvious enough this is a replica of a pteranodon skull not to be mixed up with pterodactyl so the pteranodons were a group of toothless pterosaurs pteranodons and pterosaurs in general um, were not dinosaurs they were a group of flying reptiles and they were the first ever group of vertebrate animals to evolve flight long before birds um, they split from a group they split from a common ancestor from dinosaurs all the way back in the Triassic um, where they evolved into groups which are called lagopetids and lagopetids are kind of like they look like dinosaurs but they had kind of features of both dinosaurs and pterosaurs and they were closer towards being a pterosaur than they were a dinosaur but then we've got this massive gap in fossil in the fossil record between that transition from these lagopetids into actually powered flying pterosaurs. I mean, um, the, the, the earliest pterosaur that we know of already had powered flight, it could already fly. We've got no fossils of that transitional stage from the lagopetids into flying pterosaurs. Um, but they are the cousins of dinosaurs, um, often Mis uh, mistaken for dinosaurs themselves because they're obviously always portrayed in movies with dinosaurs so they generally uh, get lumped in with them as well but yeah this is a, uh, a pteranodon skull and I believe it's actually based on the Jenkins specimen which is in a private collection if I'm not mistaken but yeah now the pteranodon was the first pterosaur to be discovered outside of Europe with Mary Anning being one of the main paleontologists finding a lot of early Jurassic pterosaurs from the Lyme Regis rocks. But pteranodon was discovered by Charles Marsh in 1871. Pterosaurs like pteranodon dominated the skies in an area of North America which was once a massive inland sea called the Western Interior Seaway. And this would have been the perfect ecosystem for animals like pteranodon as they inhabited the coasts around the sea and would have flown out to the ocean where they would swoop down and scoop fish out of the ocean. You can almost picture it now, can't you? And to be quite honest, an animal like this living today would surely be something that we would obviously need to be quite wary of. Now the upper estimates of male pteranodon wingspans was up to 5.6 meters. That's absolutely incredible. I mean, that contends with a, a fighter jet. Um, female wingspans, a little more humble, at about 3.8 meters. But still, nonetheless, you can imagine that if we have trouble contending with seagulls down on the coast when we're holiday going, trying to protect our ice creams or pasties if you're Cornish, uh, you can imagine that you'd be a little bit more worried about yourself than just your pasties, as uh, these guys would probably be more interested in you, quite frankly. Uh, this is just absolutely phenomenal. Can you imagine something like this taking to the sky and being alive today? I cannot thank the prehistoric store enough for this. You guys are absolute legends. You guys are incredible. Thank you so, so much for this. If you guys haven't seen the prehistoric store's website, make sure you get over there. Hit the link up above here. You can probably see it. I'm 
kind of nudging my head towards it. I believe it's there. Um, hit the link, go check them out. So guys, I hope that you've learned something that you didn't learn before. Feel free to like and subscribe to my page. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, please, please hit me up a comment here down below. Um, there is no such thing as a stupid question. You can't expect to know something that you've never been taught before. So please ask, go for it. Um, and uh, until next time, guys, stay curious.